If DDLJ can still make people feel and still make people cry, I think it will continue working till that time that the day it stops. Aditya Chopra wanted Tom Cruise in the movie. <laughs> yeah, he did want Tom Cruise in the film initially. So was it going to be Tom Cruise and you? I'm sure you've discussed this film so many times and it always comes up in conversations whether in an interview or not. But what's so great about that film now you look back that it still resonates, it still, it still strikes a chord across generations? I think the thing about the film is that somewhere down the line it has almost become like a family heirloom that people pass on now more than a film. Uh, I, I know I've had people who've met me and said that, you know, oh, we loved the film so much. And we got married when we saw this film and you know when our kids were born that was the first Hindi film that we showed them because we had saved the DVD. So we've saved the DVD and they've gone ahead and showed it to their kids and their kids have loved it saying that oh it's cool and this and that. So I think what's nice about the film is that it's still considered a good film. Hmm. And it hasn't aged. It more than it hasn't aged. I think it's still I think good films are timeless. Sure. Good films when are really, really timeless. When you look at all the performance and the music, you still feel the same way. I think films are about what they make you feel mm. rather than uh, anything else. And if DDLJ can still make people feel and still make people cry, I think it will continue working till that time that the day it stops. How did you get into the film? Did you know at any point in time it's going to be that huge? No, nobody so knew. 2018? Nobody knew. I right? think even Adi didn't know at that point of time that uh, you know whether the film would do well, would not do well. He was very, he was very uh, distracted. Every time we, every time we would shoot something or every time we, uh, you know, did something weird on set, or he was like, "Take, mujhe hit picture banane de." But baki sab theek hai. Lekin mujhe hit picture banane de. So that was his Takya Kalam in an odd way. He wanted to make a Tapori film too. <laughs> yeah, he right. did because you know he likes that kind of cinema and he likes that kind of filmmaking. So yeah, that's what he wanted to make and he thought with uh, DDLJ he was making this cool version of uh, Tapori. Right. Basically, it's the cool version of Tapori. And uh, yeah, so we uh, none of us knew what we were doing. We were just having fun, we were enjoying it. We all knew it was a good script. We all knew it would be a decent film. Maybe not great, but definitely a decent film. We all worked very, very hard on it in uh, strange places like tabelas and uh, mountain tops in saris and uh, you know snow banks. So yeah, we did some weird stuff. So on I was it. reading. I was reading this book on the making of the film. It's an authorized one, and one of the things that comes up in that book is about how Aditya Chopra wanted Tom Cruise in the movie. <laughs> did he, he ever wishes. tell you about it? <laughs> Yeah, he did want Tom Cruise in the film initially. That was, but that's like a wish list. Every director has a wish list that he, you know, initially puts up and says that, uh, you know, I would like so and so, so and so, so and so to be put on my wish list. Mm. And then after that, you, you then after that, you come back to earth and you're like, "Acha, theek hai. Normal, apne desh ke hero ko lete hai." <laughs> so, was it going to be Tom Cruise and you in his head? I won't know about in his head. <laughs> if it had been Tom Cruise, it probably would have been Meg Ryan on the other side. What about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't have been But I, I seriously there. doubt, yeah, exactly. I seriously doubt Meg Ryan no, would have had a Bauji in her life. Unki lazindagi mein Bauji hota to he would have been huckled out long back. <laughs> but it's also it's also the most one of the most idealistic films in its own right. The fact that you can turn a family around in their own thinking. The fact that you don't rebel. Yes. I think that was the that was the interesting part about it. It's almost it, the opposite of youth. It's it more than that. I think it talked about it talked about uh, respecting your parents' love for you, hmm. and that's exactly what I think Raj has a whole scene in the film where he tells her that you know we can't do that to our parents, yar. You know it's it's not fair to our parents. Not it's not fair to your father to do that to him, to may take his daughter away in such a way. Hmm. It's just not fair to him. So it was it went completely against what uh, today's uh, that at that time the youth was supposed to be saying, mm -hmm. you know, in a way. So it was interesting. It was interestingly done. That was the twist to the film. But I mean, there's also that larger Bollywood romantic idea of there being a soulmate, right? Uh, and it's it's worked over generations. I mean, that's what we go. I don't know whether anybody for. believes that today, I but yeah. Know, right? <laughs> So, I mean, would I mean for someone like you, and here I'm talking about you as a person, uh, married for so many years, um, you found the person back in, I'm presuming, I was lucky. 97. <laughs> do you really believe in that idea as a person? I do. 
I do definitely believe in that idea. I believe somewhere down the line that I found that person and I married him somewhere. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, I do believe in that. But I also believe that uh, I also believe that uh, some say soulmates are not immediately recognized. Mm. You know, they are uh, they are found over a period of time, or sometimes there is uh, just uh, there's just a connection that you know of, and uh, one day you know you turn around and uh, the veil comes off. And you see that person, and you you realize, oh my God, this was the person that I was standing next to for all of my life, and suddenly this this is the person that uh, I want to be with probably for the rest of my life. Sometimes it takes a month, sometimes it takes a year, sometimes it may take even thirty, forty years for that matter. So I think uh, that's something that uh, that's something that is is uh, each one's own personal journey. But I definitely do believe in soulmate. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.